So this is the front of the GT without the grill. We're currently charging it up. So the big white thing is the uh, half of a Nissan Leaf battery pack. It's 24 cells there, 200 volts to go with the 200, 200 volts at the back. We divided it up into four sections of 100 volts because that's what the controller needs to drive the AC something motor. I think it's a 31, AC 31 motor. And what we have here is the battery pack from there to there is 100 volts. And we put these fuses in to make sure that each individual battery pack of 100 volts is fused just in case there's one there, there's one there and this in the, in the leaf these two are connected up so that this whole pack goes from 0 volts to 100, uh, 200 volts up there whereas now it goes from 0 volts to 100 volts and then 0 volts to 100 volts This thing here is the battery management computer from the leaf. It fits, it fits on to here directly, bolted in. And down below, you can see all the wires. It's 96, 98 wires that go in, plus the temperature, and that is the um, the 12 volt, and all the control signals come into that one. And over here is the mass of wires we had to connect up. We have to make that a bit neater. They come from the back battery pack and they connect in to these two connectors there and there. This mass of connectors are high current connectors and the reason it's so complicated is because the bottom three are fixed and there's six connectors in there and the, there's two sets of top connectors currently this one is joined up and these are loops of basically copper wire it has to be solid copper wire there and there and what they do effectively is join the battery packs up so that now with those normally in 100 and then another 100 Currently this is actually wired up as 0 to 200 and the back one is also wired up as 0 to 200 and they're also wired in series. So what's happening is essentially all the battery packs are wired in series so that we're charging at 400 volts which is the standard Nissan voltage. That allows the battery management system to work properly because it doesn't like uh, looking at four sets of 100 volt batteries. It prefers to look at one set of uh, 48 cells which are 400 volts but in drive mode we need 100 volts so that's what we do with these set of connectors here we lift this up using this handle pulls these apart and then we move this back plug it in and that rewires the entire battery pack up into four sets parallel 100 volts and that's what this rather, apart from this, the sign which tells us to make sure to dis disable the BMS before we charge it up. But I uh, can't have a bit of a say in there, but these are basically joined up such that the batteries are in 100 volt mode. This is a stunking great big disconnect, which is yeah. marginal use. It would disconnect the 400 volts now, but it wouldn't disconnect the 100 volts when we have it in 100 volt mode, we need to fix that. This is a Curtis uh, 1238 controller. Uh, three phase AC123 and 100 volts input through a contactor over there. A bit of a difficult to see relay there. Just going back to the charging mechanism, this here is something you pull out and all it does is join two wires together and those two wires as you see the red ones down there what they do 
is they bypass the precharge resistor that precharges the uh, capacitors in the charging unit. Charging unit, which is over there, it's the thing making the noise at the moment. That's a Brusa charger charging at 400 volts. This thing here sitting beside the controller is the Brusa charger precharge resistor. There's 400 volts between these points and zero volts, which is right there. And what, what that connector at the front does, this one here, what that does, it effectively shorts out this resistor. But that resistor is important to charge the capacitors in the charger, which is over there, prior prior to actually starting the, the charging system. And the reason why the, the capacitors discharge is because we have to disconnect the charger when we're in drive mode, as the charger requires 400 volts, but the drive only requires 100 volts. So this is just another safety mechanism to stop the stop sparking when the connectors are connected in charge mode right here. So this is our uh, accelerator gear, it's a PB6 pot. Yeah. That's just controlled by the gas pedal as it were down there. Brakes, completely standard, no servo, nothing was altered with the brakes at all, which is always a good safety mechanism. So this is the Brusa charger. At the moment it's charging off my uh, dryer system so the voltage coming through on this cable here is uh, 240 volts and we're charging at some 6.5 amps at 400 volts so that's about 2.3 kilowatts this here is a DC to DC converter and it requires 100 volts, so it's wired directly between there and the back. And this is 100 volts, so that is plugging into the DC to DC through these uh, these wires here. And out of the DC DC converter obviously comes 12 volts, and that trundles around here, charges this fairly small lead acid pack, which runs the lights and the horn and the ignition, that kind of stuff. So this is only operational when the car is in drive mode, um, which is just fine. You don't really need a huge battery because we have no starter motor to start. These are LED headlights. They take slightly less current than a standard 55 watt headlight and uh, there's obviously a control unit for that which is right there so it takes the 12 volts in and converts it to whatever the led needs and there's one on that side and there's one on this side and these leds are pretty bright so since we're charging and the battery management system is here the battery management has a computer in it and it outputs can information can information has been picked up by an Elm 327 device and uh, the Bluetooth connection it's connected to this phone and these blue lines represent the voltages on the battery it's a bit unbalanced at the moment but the scale on this is quite small so they don't represent a huge variation in voltage what we hope is the battery management system will eventually kick in and balance those cells. This so shows no signs of doing it at the moment. But this this is a, a sub-program of the Leaf Spy application written by Jim Pollock. So here is the back of the GT and we have half of a Nissan Leaf battery pack in here. And that is the bundle of wires we needed to connect up 
to get the battery management system operational. It's nine, 49 wires here. Wire them up to a, some, so it's an old SCSI cable which wire to the front of the car. This is the so-called pack low, this is the zero volts. And then there will be another fuse there, at the but not one at the moment. This is the first 100 volt pack. Second 100 volt pack is here. And this is the other end of the of the second set of 100 volts. And these are the thick cables, the 2 watt cables that take the main current down to the front of the car. As you can see the gap, that is the, the, the differential down there. And these are temperature probes. But currently we haven't got those connected to the battery management system. Now this pack fitted incredibly well. Just built this metal plate here. One on this side, one on that side. What we do, this this black piece of metal here is part of the battery pack. And we've connected this to this, so this is uh, such a small tray that this pack is sitting in because you notice the bottom of the trunk is cut out. You can see the gap there. That's where the fuel line used to go in. The fuel tank used to be underneath here. So underneath the car, a little bit easier to see on this side. See those bolts, one pointing up, one pointing down. That's attaching the battery pack to that metal bracket which is simply bolted to the car. We have a slight issue. The slight issue is at this point, oh, it's difficult to see, isn't it? At this point here is quite close to the spring, but it's also far enough back. I don't think when the spring flexes it will hit that. You'd have to go up that distance. Let's hope he doesn't get sideswiped by a dumper truck. Very curious sound. We will insist on changing gear. Let's leave it in second. Pretty good.